So in my last art adventure, carving adventure, I carved this epoxy pyramid for wood spirits on, well, a wood spirit on each corner. And I carved this base and I put lights under this wood spirit. So I'm going to do another carving today, epoxy carving. So let's do the game of now you see it, now you don't. So now you see it, now you don't. So you can see here how I did the lighting. I used that strip lighting on the inside. I couldn't put it all the way around because if you looked at the pyramid, you would see the lighting itself. So that's why it's just around that side. I had to router this out with my router. Um, here's another pyramid I poured, if I can get it here. This is just clear epoxy. There's no bubbles in it. This is just for me scratching it, taking it out of the mold and stuff like that. So the only thing wrong with this clear epoxy, well, look at straight on. You can see the wiring for the lights in it. But you get all these different weird type of reflections in it. So that the one thing that I want to try, first of all, to get rid of so you don't see the wiring down below because it all reflects like a mirror. I'm going to try and scuff up the bottom with this uh, scotch brite on the mandrel. Let's see if that solves the problem of seeing what's in the bottom of this pyramid. So now you see it. Well, let me fix it. Well, let me try and fix it. But this pyramid has no friggin' bubbles in it at all. I used my uh, compressor and my little pressure pot there. So that's the way to make your uh, epoxy, no bubbles, get yourself a good little pressure pot. Okay, so there it is with the bottom scuffed up. It's not mint. I'd get some uh, maybe... Uh, 200 grit sandpaper and make it nice and smooth in there. I just wanted to do it quick to see if it would get rid of the reflection and the reflection is gone. You do see the lights from there. So for this carving, I'm going to make a separate video making the base. I'm going to make a different base for it. I'm going to have to tuck the lights farther back in underneath the wood. Uh, I'll get into that, but let's try this thing. Uh, what's the colors on this thing? Try some different colors. That's what I wanted to do, the clear one, because the one that I put the uh, blue and green dye in it, all you see is blue and green. I wanted to do this one so you can actually see the real colors that the lights are showing. So, anyways, what I'm thinking of, let me get rid of this stand. I don't want to get it all white from this epoxy, so messy. Let me get rid of this stand. We'll talk about what I'm going to carve on this. So when it comes to art, it's very easy to um, self-doubt yourself, wondering if what you're going to do is going to be good enough for what you want to do, and you just got to challenge yourself. So this, I had a good chat with Larry Dibbs over at Wowsy Workshop there. Thanks, Larry. Um, and also, I asked just Carve Rob this morning if he think trees would look good. He says he doesn't see trees in the pyramid, and I have to agree with him. So this is trying to motivate you guys. Pretend this is a piece of wood. And if you want to carve friggin' wood spirits and that's all you want to carve, then friggin' carve the wood spirits. You don't have to worry about what people say that you're repetitive and is that all you can carve? I've, so when I first started carving, I had some friends say, is that all you carve is those old man faces? I said, that's all I want to carve. So I thought about doing designs in here and then doing trees and doing, you know, a pyramid with a big eye in there. I thought about all that stuff. But I think for this piece, I'm just going to do what I want to do and not really give a shit, right? Like, yeah, I know sometimes the videos get repetitive. You try making 2,000 videos and not try and get them re to be repetitive. <laughs> you know, in like three or four years. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do what I want to do and hopefully it mot motivates you guys to do what you want to do and the piece that you see and the piece that you have because I don't really see anything else working on this. Yeah, I could carve like waves. I could carve mountains in here, carve whatever you want to freaking carve. I want to carve a, a spirit, uh, epoxy spirit. 
So I'm going to, uh, this, my last one too, I don't know if I already said it in this video, but I was very timid when I'm carving. I didn't want to carve too deep because I wanted to keep the pyramid shape. But so one of the, I read all the comments on all my videos. Trust me, I do. I don't reply to all them. I just hit like and I hit a heart saying that I've read it. Uh, I forget who said it, but somebody said, well, Jordy, can't you carve the, this out so it, it doesn't look like a pyramid, but then put this back in the mold when it's carved and pour more epoxy into the mold so it looks like a pyramid again. So I could carve this whole peak, and that was such a great idea. I don't know if it will work with the bubbles and all that stuff, but that's what I'm going to try. So thank you so much for that idea. And I'm going to carve deep on this sucker. When I'm carving, I'm not going to be filming that much. But the last one, I carved a wood spur at each point. This one, I'm going to – this is how the base is going to be. I'm going to make it so it sits like this with this point out. I'm going to carve a deep wood spirit in here, and I got some plans. So, like, a deep wood spirit in here. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to carve too much of the back because I like those points in there. You see that? Boom, boom. See how you got like a triangle inside there, a pyramid inside of a pyramid. You'll probably lose that, but this is a lot of work. This is freaking dusty, dusty, dirty, dirty stuff. So definitely 100% have your dust mask. Okay, so here's mine. This is like a three up. This is a north. North is good too. So this is the one that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my ram carver here. This thing this, this unit's $1,000. It's got two pieces on it. So there's a quarter inch piece with a cut saw. Quarter, so this bit is the same bit that would go in your Fordham or your um, die grinder. This is a cut saw, silver, a flame burr. And then here is a metalworking burr. This spins at 50,000 RPMs. It's brushless, all right? And there's no flex shop. The motor is inside the handpiece. It's super quiet. And um, yeah, it rocks. This one, I don't, this one they suggest that don't run at any more than 30,000 RPMs. It's got a full, they both have forward and reverse. They're both hooked up to speed control foot pedal. So if you got an extra thousand bucks to spend, get yourself one of these. What does it say? There's a name of it. So it's made by Ram products, all right? So BPHST, I guess that's the model number. There's another name for it too. Um, if you do want to buy the Ram iCube carver is like $180. This has got the um, the one eighth bit. This is all my bits are I use the one eighths or the quarter quarter inch. Okay, that's I don't mess around with any other sizes because then you gotta change colts and stuff like that or get another hand piece. If you do want to buy a RAM product, I suggest if you don't have a thousand dollars to spend or whatever this costs, eight hundred, seven seven hundred, eight hundred dollars. Get yourself the, look up the RAM products, iCube Carver. It's like $180 American. You can um, get a hold of RAM, super good people. I know the owner. I'm not sponsored by RAM. We work together. Um, get a hold of the owner, and um, there's a C F Carving Fusions, the code, and you'll save yourself 10%, I think. I don't make any money if you buy one. It's just uh, RAM's a quality tool. So it helps you guys out. There you go. So I'm going to start carving this. It's going to be uh, heavy, deep carving and loud music and um, breathing through the dust mask. Whoa, look at that. It's coming right out of there. Holy, look at that. It's super cool. Like, a, see the face, a side view? Man, is that ever friggin' neat. So, this is the part I didn't carve. That's cool. I got to see that again. <laughs> uh, this is what it's all about. So here's the actual carving. I still got lots more sanding to do. Look at that. Watch this. That's friggin' cool. This thing would go slower. 
I am gonna. <laughs> that's just freaking too cool. I am gonna. Uh, I got to I'm gonna pour another epoxy, just a uh, rectangle, and I'm gonna carve the face so you see it like this in the back. So, anyways, this is what I got so far. Oh, there it's slower now. Let's see it slower. Who cares? I, I I got time to waste. You guys got time to waste? Maybe you don't. Man, that's friggin' neat. That's so neat. Anyways, um, so I, come on, turn off here. Actually, let's just look at it one more time. Super neat. Um, I think it is. You guys might not. Now, I carved, you can see here how the, the pyramid normally goes. I carved lots off that, so I hope this is able to fit in the mold again because I'm going to report it in the mold. So I kind of think of um, because I'm going to do a light pour over this before I put it back in the mold, and I want to put some different colors in here. I didn't say that in the video, but I want to carve one real eye on this. I want this to kind of be look be like Odin. One real eye, the one eye that um, Odin donated his, I got told Odin had two ravens and he donated one of his eyes so he could see around the world. So I'm going to carve one realistic eye the best I can in this. And then I'm going to just kind of make it look like, like there's a scar on one side. I got to see which eye he, um, he donated to see the world. Yeah, and I'm going to do details in the, the eyebrows up here. Have fun. That's what it's about, having fun. Okay, for me, three, two, one. So this is all I sand it with, Dremel Flex Shaft. With the scotch braid and the sanding mandrel, if I had to use sandpaper, I probably wouldn't even do these projects. So for me, um, things always change. So there's Odin's right eye that's missing. I did carve that right eye, missing eye up a little bit too high. So I'm thinking, well, if I look at the top of that eyelid and I look at that top of that eyelid, that looks fine. I could just hollow up more down below and it should be... Um, more even when I'm doing carvings like this things change as my processor goes when I'm carving it I carved all this back with a diamond burr a round diamond burr on my um, thing thing because I was thinking to myself well when I put this in the mold and I, I re-pour it so the epoxy is on the outside I don't want to have the scratched back where the epoxy can't get. You know, I want it to be thicker there. So hopefully this works. This is a trial and error thing. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I think I can just leave that eye in there. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's good enough. It says what it is. So there's some Carving Fusion Japanese swoosh lines art. So what I'm going to do now is... Um, Take this in the bathroom, get an old toothbrush and clean out uh, all the white stuff and we'll bring it back and do the water test. Maybe put it, no, I'm not going to put it on the base, no. Okay, so there it is with the water test. Um, let's see here. See, it's even hard to see what's going on until you get a side view of it. So, but hopefully the lights will change that. And I'm having a problem getting some white out of that hollow eye in there. Um, anyways. Um, let's dry this off. Okay, so I, so the piece is all dry now. I got it on this um, matte thing. This is the uh, Magic Resin Arts and Crafts 
epoxy. It's a one to one. I got this um, dye with one of the kits. I got uh, green and blue. You know, I have all these other colors, but I, don't, I just don't think they're um, the colors that I want to use on this piece. If the colors out of the, when this is all done and only shows green and blue, I'm, I'm completely fine with that. If you get the color changing lights, right? So, but this is mixed a lot. Um, not as, as I, di I didn't put as much dye in this as my other one. Well, this blue is a little bit thick, so maybe I'll, a little bit dark. Maybe I'll just do it with the green. So, um, this stuff, the curing time is 24 hours. I think I'll just, um, well, I think I'll just kind of go for it and do half the face blue and half the face green. So, like, like I said, this is just experiment. You just don't know if it's going to work if you don't try it. Now, I know this stuff's going to be running around like crazy. When I'm uh, doing it. And you want to kind of take it easy with the brush because it does create bubbles and makes it white. But you can, my thing is, I don't want to really use the heat gun to melt the bubbles because it makes the stuff more runny. And I want it just to be kind of um, stable. So, anyways, it's just an experiment. Take it easy. Don't hate. Sorry, I don't have my microphone uh, plugged in. They say the curing time for this is 24 hours. So um, I'll watch this overnight and um, come in and get any areas that's pooling. It is now the next day and everything is dry. Now I'm not going to lie. Um, when I was putting that the color, the tinted stuff on, I just decided to throw some purple in there too, just to give it a little bit of extra color. Now you don't really see that color stuff too much. It's just kind of a, what would the word be? Illuminance of it, just like traces of it as it turns, see? So I like it the way it is, but that's not the um, goal of this project. The goal of this project is put this back in the mold. There's the mold right there. And pour more epoxy in there. Now, I'm not too sure if this is going to break the piece, like wreck it, or whatever it's going to do. So, I also got this mold for my next epoxy project. So, I think this mold will go on top of this mold in my pressure pot right here. Yeah. So, it, they'll both fit. So, I'm going to do that. So, let's get this in the mold. I'll mix up some more epoxy and see if she works. Don't know. Only trial and errors will tell with carving fusion epoxy carving. Okay, so here it is back in the mold. I am worried about the top piece you see there. It looking like when uh, I got this epoxy poured in here, looking like it's just like a straight cut. That's hard to explain, but that's what I'm worried about. The top kind of looking a bit different. So I kind of do regret carving that top a little bit shorter but we'll just see if it works that's all you can do when you you when you're trying things out <laughs> Pretty good for not much bubbles, I'd say. Anyways. I take it up to 50. I don't know if you guys could hear me because I didn't have my microphone on, but um, I cranked this up to 50. You know, do this pressure pot at your own risk. I say just be very safe and... Um, Ask somebody that knows about them if you're going to build one. So I had lots of extra epoxy. This stuff is the deep pour, so it takes four days to cure. So I'm not going to be in this room for four days. This is just the uh, extra stuff I had. I mixed up some different pigments. We got a soap dish there. We got a silly little owl. 
ashtray and some lighter cases. So it's always good to have extra mold when you when you pour the epoxy in case you pour too much. Like these lighter cases, once you carve them, they're, these are probably the biggest hit with my friends. I've carved like 30 of these lighter cases, and this is the only one I got left because I just give them away to all my friends. So anyways, heat gun, look, kill the bubbles, and uh, see you in four days. <laughs> It is now day four. Here's that soap holder. I kind of ran out of epoxy, so I didn't really pour it deep enough, so you kind of see through it. But that's thick enough. That's like quarter inch there. So here's that. Uh, you buy this, these molds on um, Timo or, or um, Timo or Amazon. Sorry. Um, I'm having a problem seeing right now because I was uh, chainsaw carving today that uh, Treehouse I was working on. Got lots of sawdust in my eyes. I should have had safety glasses there. My, my normal glasses weren't doing a good enough job. So here's that owl mold. Um, these ones weren't in the um, pressure cooker or pressure pot, whatever. Now here's that fruity um, soap holder. Now all the different colors that I had, I just poured them in here. That yellow um, epoxy fruity sparkly stuff. I had some black stuff. And um, I was going to do black, yellow, and black. So it's kind of like a bumblebee later, but I'm not too sure. So how about I get these unpeeled and then, oh, here's the big mold too. So here's these ones. I mixed it with that uh, kind of a red color, metallic red, and some, uh, that mold has a weird, fuck, man. So those are pretty neat once I carve them. Here's the bumblebee one. The, these molds, they go like this. That's how you pour it upside down, kind of like that. So these, most of these flakes sunk to the bottom, but uh, that's okay. Some chick or some girl will like this. Kind of maybe she'll be like a tire, tire biter type girl, you know, gold, gold, sparkly gold. Anyways, let's get, let's get on, let's move on to this thing. Let's see how it cured up comes in this kit from Amazon so they get the plastic thing and then you get two of these rubber things inside here so what I got to try and do is pull this rubber thing uh, outside of here then we'll pull the mold off on camera that, that came out a lot easier than the last one so let's see how this baby see how it worked right now is the magic moment uh oh oh no that's his hole for his eye See that? So there. Um, let me get this off the, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit sticky. It's only been three days. I've been, I was lying, it's not been four. So I gotta, I gotta put it down because I don't want to get my fingerprints all over this. So like, anyways. All right, so here's what we got. That's looking at the face. You can see the nostrils there. Like this eye looks good, but this eye, you know, I said I was going to check on it and make sure it didn't pool. Now, if you look there, it looks like there's a pupil looking that way. And it's what happened was inside there, I carved it too deep, and that purple color pooled in there. So um, let's give this a spin. If I can get this thing going, stand by. Okay, so you can see the bottom there where I poured the epoxy deeper. You don't see too much of those carvings I did on the back because I didn't use that much of the bluer color so um I just don't know let's let's um get the my old light base out here and put it on the light base all right so here it is in the base I made for the other one Let's turn the lights on. I got the light remote thing here. Where's on? Come on, go on, go on. Yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. There you go. Okay, so let's try uh, different colors here. Let me just use this thing's easier um, color. So yeah, it does, well like where's, there, there's the red 
you do see the lights through it back there that's what I'm talking about the reflection of the lights that's okay um, I did kind of scuff up the bottom a bit with some sandpaper you can see the scratch marks on it but I need to do it with a lot finer grit um, I don't love this piece I, 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 I actually really don't give a shit let's uh, undo this light bulb see how that looks well that looks a little bit neater is it changing lights now what's going on here well you don't you can't really see on camera what's going on inside there but um, you can see it better in uh, real life so I think this is kind of a bust I'm gonna take it as a bust but you'll live and learn it's um this is probably about $25 worth of epoxy if that maybe 20 bucks I'm like I'm not I don't hate this piece I don't hate it is that bubbles inside there could be little micro bubbles I don't know I don't hate this piece what I do hate is let's turn this light back on turn these lights off what I what I don't like about it is and this is just giving you guys my opinion about my own work and stuff like that I like my last one uh, a lot better I don't like this eye like that that's that's basically what I really don't like and I kind of don't like this bottom like that too so I think what I'm gonna do like I, I might be able to save this piece what I'm thinking about doing is whenever I get some time I'm going to Vancouver Island on uh, Monday go beach when I but I'm I don't know if I want to carve a base for this piece what I might try and do is keep this side of the face underneath there like like it is and then carve this side of the mo this side of the pyramid so one side's smooth and the other side's carved because I gotta fix that eye. It's just, um, just don't work for me, man. Maybe if this whole thing was looking this way, yeah, but it's not. So, anyways, I won't waste any more of you guys' time. That's that. So, um, and I shouldn't have poured the epoxy so deep so you see that hard line there. I should have poured it just above that line, but I poured it deep so it would fit in this base because if I didn't pour it this deep, Pocket this deep it would not fit in this base so that's it we'll take this one as a fail but uh maybe one day on my own time i'll try and fix it and show you guys later on hope everybody's doing good carbon fusion shit the pants on this one shit the fucking bed on this one yep